Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this is a questions and answers session. There's a lot of questions that came up after I posted my video of me moving on to uh, version 20H2 or the next version of Windows 10 uh, that's coming up in the fall of 2020. So right now, uh, let's just say that, first of all, I do not recommend that people move on to this version. I have, it works great, but you remember that this is beta software still not totally completed, even though it's close to completion, there will be more cumulative updates before this is actually released with bug fixes and so on. We're going to answer the different questions um, that I have seen over the past uh, few days with this. And I think it's going to be, uh, so it's going to answer the majority. And if you have questions I haven't answered, you can actually ask them in the description below the video. Uh, in the, um, the comments, just ask your question in a polite way. And I will keep all the questions. And um, if it's needed, we'll do a, uh, another answer, questions and answer session video. Um, that's the way I prefer actually answering questions than really answering in the comments itself, especially with the high level of comments on this channel. So, this is the next version of Windows 10 this fall. That's the first thing that you need to know. A lot of you are asking me, you know, where did I get the image or where did I get the download of this? It's very simple. It's part of the Windows Insider program. Once again, Every time that I show you something like this, it is in the Insider program. And this is activated by going to your settings, by going into Update and Security, and by going Windows Insider program on the bottom left of this page. Be warned that if you do this, you are risking you know, a possible problem on your PC. Once again, unfinished software not necessarily the best idea to run. A lot of you have said, you know, well, you can run it in a virtual machine, and yes, you can. If you have uh, the capability of, and the know-how of, you know, installing a virtual uh, machine, well, yes, absolutely, you can run this in a virtual machine. That means, you know, you can try it out, and you don't have to, um, you know, worry about your main PC being messed up uh, when you use a virtual machine. The questions are many. One of them is, okay, so there's a lot of new features in there. No, in reality, there's really very little new features. Um, you know, I've shown you the, the start menu that it uh, kind of goes a little more with the accent color and stuff. It's, you know, different. It's a little better. It's, it looks better. And, and the tiles, instead of being big, chunky blue squares, or whatever are more adaptable to whatever theme you're using dark or a light theme so this is something that is nice because it does really make uh, this a little better and I find it a little nicer but that said there's pretty much nothing new really not a lot of new stuff in there and that is going to you know, it's expected not to be that much more than that. This version is pretty much finished. It's just that, you know, it's going to be released later. So the other question a lot of you are asking is, when is this going to be available to everybody? This is not going to be available before at least October, maybe even November of this year. So don't, you know, go crazy over it's going to come out soon. It's not because, well, what's coming out right now is the May 2020 update. That's where we are. That's the phase where we are. So this is going to be later this year. It's not going to be a huge update like the May 2020 update. That is, you know, takes a long time to install and, um, you know, several restarts. And it's pretty much a clean, kind of a, a complete reinstall of Windows when you think about it. This is like a service pack. If you remember Windows 7, Windows XP, they had service packs from time to time that would... Uh, fix bugs, change things, and sometimes add a little bit of features, but not a lot. Well, this is going to be the same thing. It's going to be a cumulative update that's going to appear later this year. And it's going to just change slightly your version. But think about the basics or the, um, the, 
the core of this Windows is actually the May 2020 update. And like last year, May and November 2019 updates, what is going to happen here is that the build numbers are going to be very close and follow each other. So on May 2020 update, those have updated, you're on 19.041. Look at this one, it's at 19.042. In the fall, when all of this synchronizes, we're going to be at the same ending. I'm at dot .421. I believe the um, May 2020 update is at dot .388 right now. This is going to be the same number at some point because they are the same version. They'll have the same updates. The uh, download, anybody that's asking me, is there a place where I can download the image for this thing? No. Well, yes, technically there are some, you know, uh, shady websites that might have the image for this available on the internet. But here, I like to share only the official download pages and so on. So if we talk about an official link to an image, an ISO for clean install, no, it, it, there's none right now. Uh, the Windows Insider page does not have a image of 19042 available for download. Um, apart from that, it should work well and not cause too many problems because it is pretty much the same core as the May 2020 update. It will contain some bug fixes and changes, but, you know, nothing much. Uh, speed, uh, same. I, I haven't seen any difference in performance level. Uh, it seems to work really well and be pretty good. It is very stable in my case. Like I said, I don't recommend anybody go there just you know wait for it to arrive to uh to this fall and that's it right now concentrate on just you know using the uh whatever version you have and uh, <clears throat> some of you are asking me will i be forced updated to this well like all the um updates right now the update will not be forced on you unless you're at the end of support of a version Right now, 1809, the October 2018 update is being forced upgraded to the May 2020 update. The next version of, uh, of, of Windows will be forced upgraded to those that are on old versions of Windows that are about to expire, but not be forced to anybody else. Uh, it will show up probably in your Windows update as a, um, you know, um, download and install in, in a separate section where you can click download and install if you want it but it's going to stay there um, as long as you don't click that button and that's pretty much it so it's a smaller update also a lot of you are asking me is this big update uh in in download size no this is much smaller because it's just a cumulative update so this will be typically several hundred megabytes rather than uh you know three or four gigabytes for the major windows download as for the rest it is of course like i said very very little new features will pretty much be the same thing as the may 2020 update with just a few tweaks here and there but we don't expect to have way you know many more features than this uh, one last thing it is also giving us a hint of what i was talking about of one update a year starting next year as it's interesting that they pushed some of the new features from the uh, dev channel or fast ring into this uh, right now. So it's kind of interesting to see the future of Windows. But uh, if you have questions, uh, just ask politely. Just put your comment with your questions. And if I um, have any other, um, you know, uh, worthy list of questions, I'll do another questions and answer to answer them as I like to do this in this way. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.